From Rafael Nadal, who's been slammed by injury, to Serena Williams, who's dropped over 100 places, these are the biggest drops in rankings in tennis history. Let's kick this list off with one of the all-time goats of the sport, a man who could tango with the likes of Federer and Novak, Rafael Nadal. Nadal's always been at the top of the ATP rankings, even being ranked top dog in 2008 after winning Wimbledon. However, recently he's had a huge ranking drop, falling all the way to ninth. Now, this might not seem like a big drop, but for a guy like Nadal, it's a huge deal. So why has he fallen from grace? Well, it all comes down to injuries. Unfortunately, Nadal has suffered from injury after injury throughout his career. His injuries got so bad that he was forced to withdraw from the recent Doha tournament, as well as a competition in Dubai. In fact, he's only been able to play four matches this season and has lost three, which is not a good win rate for a guy like Rafa. Brad, I know it's spectacular, but is, well, the question I have is this type of stuff from Rafa sustainable? He looked, he looked to the edge of the... Right now, he's at his lowest rating in 73 months. And considering his age, it's hard to say he's going to make a comeback. But we are rooting for you, Rafa. We've just lost Federer to retirement. Please don't leave us. Another tennis star who has fallen from grace due to injury is British favorite Andy Murray. There was a time when Murray was ranked number one in the world, beating the likes of Djokovic with ease. However, today, the story is entirely different. This man has been through so many surgeries that his body just can't keep up with the younger, fresher players, which has caused a monumental drop in his ranking. Currently, he's fluttering just outside the top 50 to 60, which for a man who has won Wimbledon is pretty damn low. Murray's trying to pull things together and rally a comeback, but it's not looking very hopeful. He could barely make it past the qualifiers in the recent Australian Open, and is struggling to beat unranked opponents, let alone world-class stars such as Novak. Murray's in high spirits, though. And even if he'll never be the player that he once was, he's grateful to even be able to compete in the sport. In a recent interview, he said, Two days ago, I randomly bumped into the doctor who in 2017 told me, The good news is the problem you have in your hip can be fixed, but you won't be able to play professional sport again. I think we dispelled that myth in the last five days. I wish I could have a can-do attitude like you, Andy. Even Roger Federer has been affected by terrible injuries in the past, which has caused his rating to fall dramatically. In the last year of his career, Federer suffered a bad knee injury which resulted in him exiting Wimbledon in the fourth round. After this, he stopped playing, meaning he couldn't rack up any points to defend his ranking. And soon enough, he dropped in ranking. This goes to show you even somebody as quick as Djokovic struggles to catch up to a good volley. And this was a big drop. I mean, in the space of a year, he dropped over 2,000 places and completely lost his official ATP singles ranking. This was a huge deal. I mean, Federer had been ranked by ATP since 1997, when he was just 16 years old. To be fair, we can't really blame Raj. I mean, he was still competing at 40, and his legacy certainly hasn't been affected by this drop. But it's still pretty crazy to think about, right? So it's safe to say that injuries have had a big role to play in a lot of players' drops in rankings. But many players have also been affected by a rather odd decision by the ATP and WTA amid current affairs in Ukraine and Russia. The ranking boards decided to remove ranking points from this year's Wimbledon championships. This is a massive deal and has a huge impact on players who competed last year, like the current GOAT Novak Djokovic. Last year, he picked up 2,000 points for winning Wimbledon, but this year, he's only got the opportunity to pick up 180 points in London, and it's expected that he'll lose his number one ranking to Daniil Medvedev, who's just a few points behind the Serb. This just doesn't make sense. Novak's been storming the gates recently, like he's untouchable, unbeaten, yet at the risk of losing his number one ranking? What? Novak commented on the current situation, highlighting the difficulties that the ATP body has at the moment, saying, It's hard, really. It's hard to say what is right and what is wrong. 
This is one of these kinds of decisions and situations where is always going to be someone that will suffer more. It's kind of, I would say, a lose-lose situation for everyone. It would be a great injustice and a historic moment if Novak were to drop in ranking this year. So let's hope he holds his position. Another men's tennis star who will be affected by the ATP's recent decisions is Canadian player Denis Shapovalov. Unfortunately, this guy's been really struggling in recent months, battling to keep his position in the top 10. And should he fail to find success at this year's Roland Garros, it's likely that he will drop 10 places or more. Poor guy, he's just so lovable. Another lovable player who has been stiffed by these points changes is Denis Kudla. The American prospect has been working tirelessly to get himself into the top 100 and managed to hit rank 82 after last year's Wimbledon. However, because of the changes to the point system, he's set to lose 115 points, as well as his position in the top 100. And this is a massive shame. Sure, he's not the biggest nor the most talented star that the court's ever seen, but he's a damn hard worker and doesn't deserve to be treated like this. So, we've talked about some of the craziest ranking drops in men's tennis. So it's about time to talk about some of the female players, like Naomi Osaka. This girl's been crushing it in recent years and is a feared opponent on the court. However, in January 2023, she suffered a huge ranking drop. At the end of 2022, this girl was ranked 14th by the Women's Tennis Association. Skip to today and she's ranked 85th. That's right, she's outside the top 50 for the first time since February 2018. So why has she dropped in ranking so much? Well, unfortunately, she's been suffering from a few mental health problems in recent years, which have badly affected her performances. Hopefully, she'll be able to bounce back, but don't expect her to be inside the top 50 anytime soon. Another female player who's fallen from hero to zero is tennis goat Serena Williams. Now, there's no argument that this woman's had a monumental career, holding the record for most time spent at number one, for instance. However, recent inactivity has caused Serena's ranking to drop significantly. Serena was last seen on the court at the 2021 Roland Garros Championship and was defeated in the fourth round. And since then, she hasn't racked up any points. The result? She's fallen to 59th in the world. And it's only going to get worse. It's predicted that the American will fall outside the top 200 by the end of this year. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of a huge drop. However, just like the Fed Express, this ranking drop won't affect her legacy. It's just something that happens as a star reduces their activity and transitions into retirement. So from Rafael Nadal, who's been battling with injury after injury, to Serena Williams who's set to drop outside the top 200 this year. Those were the biggest drops in rankings in tennis history.